I was sent a neck knife by Holtzman's Gorilla Survival. And this is what came in the box. We have a Kydex sheath, little neck knife, look like two and a half inch blade or so, D2 steel, G10 scales, orange liners, little fire steel. The sheath comes with a diamond sharpener. Did on first inspection is kind of coarse. It'll work, especially if you really wreck the edge of the knife. Comes with a screwdriver tool, so you can shift this up or down depending on where you like to carry it. And this is for the fire seal holder. And I'll usually pop that over the top, that way it don't come out. Comes with a bit of, this isn't 550 cord, but it is sort of a, it's a little bit less than that I would say. Braided line so you could probably take it apart if you needed to. Looks like it's got some inner cords. You can shift it around to carry it upright or upside down, depending on how you like to carry. Same with this, you can move it to where you need it. When I first got the knife, it snapped in the sheath. Like really, really difficult. And some of the girls I know that I handed it to, and a few guys even, had difficulty getting it out. It was really positive. It stays in quite good now, but what I did was I set it on the dash of my car for a day when it was like stupid hot out here in the grass desert, and it opened this up just a little bit. So I'm sure a little bit of a hair dryer, you could probably retrain it how you like. Okay, this knife, when I got it, it shaved off a good section of my forearm. You can still see the hairs gone. I've been cutting in Osage and all kinds of stuff, and it's, ooh, it's still shaving. So, it's still got a really good edge. I've been, like I said, I've been cutting Osage, making fur sticks, all or feather sticks, all kinds of stuff. Carved a toggle for one of my leather bags that I'll put a picture up on the video. But that's... This is a this is dry osage. And it was in it cuts in that quite nicely. It's very, very hard. It, they used to make spokes and stuff out of it. They make bows out of it. The, the wood, once it gets old, is hard. And this wood come from some that I pulled out of a tree line that's been down for years. But to do this, what I was doing was just cut down into it and very, very carefully. Yeah, I realize that most people will be squealing about knife handling techniques. Cut straight down and bring it all the way down. Just keep, keep making it smaller down into points. Then you can come in, round this off a little bit, cut a V into it. You make a gorge hook, you can make toggles for you to know, tie your cord around here, make toggles for sheaths to hold it, or to, for hold downs, all kinds of stuff. So this is good for carving, making trap bits, things along that line. It's, it, it holds a good edge. I'm really, really, really surprised, after, especially, this is what I use to torment knives with, his old dry host, Osage. It works quite well. The only thing I can think of worse is maybe pick up a piece of steel or aluminum or something and try shaving it off, but that's just, dumb. The back has a bit of, this side is fairly sharp, but this side has a bit of a burr. And they tell me that it'll run a fire steel, which I have done. This is a, one of their fire steels. Once I get the oxidation off. There we go. I don't usually like doing that with a blade. I'd throw in a piece of hacksaw blade or something because you could easily attach a piece of hacksaw blade on the sheath up in here. It's a little better. I don't like using the back of a knife for that. It's just, it's, 
if you have to, that's one thing, but eh, I wouldn't rely on it. You'll have to pull, you could get a, a steel or something and pull a 90 degree on that a little better because it, it's not quite there, but it's pretty damn close. It'll pull a spark pretty fair. Where I found out where I like these little knives, neck knives, Sit out here. And whatever whatever you take off of the edge when you're working with the Osage, a bit of a polish on a ceramic rod or something will bring it right back. D2 is pretty nice steel and this, this is done pretty well. So I can't complain a whole lot. <laughs> And the price is really good off of Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. So you can easily... It's easily affordable. Those are fairly thin slices, and I'm not really trying to get real thin slices, but it's doing a good job on the onion. But you can see that it's just, for a survival knife, a neck knife, it does pretty good. I kind of like this little knife. I'm really kind of impressed with it. We'll try in the... It's hot out today, so this might be a little it's pulling the oil out of this cheese. This stuff is scorpion cheese. Yes, it is hot. Some of the some of the hotter cheese I've had. I like spicy every now and again. messing about burned up some hot dogs had some little rye rolls but these are this is what neck knives are generally for they're not meant to be out chopping down trees splitting wood I've seen people do all kinds of stuff with all kinds of different things that's gross abuse on the knife as far as I'm concerned I'm sure it'll do it but why if you're in that position, it'll do it, but you can make, you know, you aren't going to cut down a six inch tree with this. Well, you could, just not real readily. This will make arrows, spears, they could flesh out a bow, trapping material, you know, sticks to set up traps, cut weeds and stuff and, and different plants for cordages, food, do this like what you're doing. Small tasks around camp, these are great. It could be tied to your belt or neck knife around your neck. People say that this is heavy. It's not, I'll put the specs up in. It's not, to me it's not heavy. It's solid built, full tang all the way through, full shaped handle. The edge, when you're going to bring it down, your guard is just a little bit below the edge, which to me, to break the, <laughs> to, to break this down, what I might end up doing is to get this smoother so I can put a finer edge on it easier. I just might take the guard down a little bit. But this is a nice little knife. It's hard to beat for the money. Uh, and it comes in a really nice presentation box. Outstanding buy for the money. It will make somebody, you know, it won't, you won't hurt anybody's feelings by giving them this. Or you're not going to get hurt buying it.
smash the subscribe button such that you would your fearsome foe.